Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can do this animations and again I have a sore throat so I'm going to speak a bit slower. So if I just refresh it you could see how this slicing animation happens and you could do it for each heading so by line like this one and two. Then the second one I want to show you is this effect. So you see until the uh, words or the sentences turn into the center of the page they keep revealing and if I scroll down it just hides. And then there's also another animation which is same as the previous one you could see but this, this is just an another method to do it so let me show you how we can do this okay so let me just duplicate this so if i copy and then maybe create another container so that i can show you in better way sorry if i'm saying a bit slower i just have sore throat so please make sure to just uh, you know increase the volume so I did is basically add a container and in that you would add your heading or anything that you want. So you could see right now I have a heading but I'll just paste the one that I've made above. Like this. And then there's no CSS and this method allows you to do it without CSS. And that is basically right now if I add a motion effect which is if you go into advanced and add a motion effect of let's say fade in up you can see this is the effect that happens so where did it go okay there you could change to slow you could change to fast i like to keep it on fast and then the next thing i'll do is in this container i'll go into additional settings and then click on hidden so anything outside this container you this uh, this gray border anything outside this gray border will just be hidden so if i like let's say play this animation again by you know simply just changing the values you could see how this works basically anything outside this gray container will be hidden so let's check it on the live page and you can see how this worked and if you wish to do on two different let's say uh, for one line this and this line second line this so you will need to duplicate the container and then you will basically just need to do this let's make two containers for this one let's remove our let's make it like 10 or maybe let's do 0 and then you could also make the containers default padding to 0 like this you see maybe add like a margin of 10 if you wish to and now both of them would work on their own containers this one increases containers it's not good for website speed because the lesser the container the better it would work but let me show you without doing the container and this one requires elementor pro that you could get in the description and let me show you what we do for this one so let me try on this one okay now there's one issue with that and i'll show you so let me just make it default so nothing's happening no animation and then this is the css that we will use if i go into my custom css and copy this you can see it's not working but right now this is set to h2 so if i do to h1 it will do that but let's say you're using any one of them so h1 to h6 or if you're using p you just need to do is change this value so you see based on whichever you are using h1 h2 h3 or p you just need to choose that it also works for this container so if i let's say do p and then add it to this section you could see it will work nicely and let me show you what this actually does so what we are doing is in elementor every widget that we use has this purple border you see and elementor by default adds a container to it which is called widget container so what we are doing is we are using selector so in this element we select the widget container which is this container and make the overflow hidden so remember how we made the container hidden it basically is saying that anything outside this border should be hidden because elementor by default adds a container for every single element that we add so any that is dave basically and it basically adds the same overflow hidden to this pink color border then we are doing our animation so by default 
I have added the opacity 0 which basically means that it would be transparent but if you don't want to have transparency you could just remove it so this would just basically look like this if I remove all of this and let me do the animation again and you could see how this looks uh, let me like change to P again and you can see it's not working perfectly right so what we can do is we can actually increase the value around here then let's try refreshing it and you could see now it works so let me explain to you what's happening and you can see this one is not working and simply because both of these have the same animation which is reveal so let me let me like call this one as reveal2 because this one has different value for animation and this one has different animation value so let's call this reveal2 and you could see that one just popped up if it had same value then it wouldn't have mattered but right now it is not same so we'll just call it reveal2 and let me explain what happens uh, pretty quickly so let me tell you what happens in this one so we obviously did the overflow hidden for anything pink border then whichever we are using so like h1 h2 or anything we are basically making a transparent at start and then we are giving it a animation the animation name is reveal you can call it anything but make sure this thing and this thing should be same so this selector should do this animation for 1.5 seconds so if you want to do it for faster you could just make it 2.5 seconds if you want to do it slower you could do 2.5 seconds or or just 2 seconds anything that you want to do then the cubic base here is basically basically like the speed so it should start slower and then speed up in the future stuff like that so instead what you could do is you could also add linear and what linear does is it keeps like the constant speed so rather than speeding up so rather than slowing and then speeding up like in the animation if you check the animation is not same speed it slows down and then speeds up that is done by the cubic one it's this one but you could do linear, you could also do ease. Ease is basically slowing and then speeding up. Then again, at the end, it is slowing down. You could just check in the CSS notes or any other. Just Google it, what the CSS speed mat uh, or how it works. And then we add uh, forwards. Forwards basically means that anything at the end of the animation should be kept. Because if you don't do that, it will just try to keep repeating it. So if you don't add, if you add something like infinite, it will try to... It will try to like loop back again and again so remember that if you add forwards it just stops it at the end of the frame and this one which is keyframes reveal is basically that we are saying at the zero percent which is for one second right so in the one second at the zero second at the start of the animation it should be uh, have no opacity which is zero and then transform translate and what this does is it basically moves it from uh, x-axis and y-axis you could also add pixels around here so if you wish to add like pixels or percentage or any other value that is supported you could add this but i add like percentage because it works better and this is x value so left and right and this is y value so up and down so if you want to have uh, if you want it to go from left to right you could change these values and keep this to zero or if you want to come from like left top right like this then you could add both values and then at the hundred second or oh sorry hundred percent which is at the end of the animation you want it to be at its original location so whichever the original location was we are just making it go from 120 to 20 so basically 120 percent is at the bottom so let's say this is around here and then it just goes up uh, at the zeroth location okay if you want to understand it better you could click on here transform and then in the offset value if i just change the y so this is what's happening in the animation it's going from bottom to just up bottom to just up like this that's the animation that we are doing and then the opacity one so it goes from zero to fully uh, visible and obviously you can just remove that and that way it would not have that fade in effect that's one method now let's quickly check our third method uh, i don't even remember what i did in this one so it's basically the same thing but which it's basically the same thing that i've done here except rather than using overflow hidden uh, here 
all I did is I added it in a container. So I just removed this like this. I added this into a container and then added the overflow hidden like this. So same thing as this one, but except rather than uh, using this this option, I just added a container, but I would recommend doing this because it just makes no sense to add extra container that would just increase the speed. Now this one, uh, let me show you how we can do it. So let me just duplicate it to explain to you guys. So all I've done right now is this one also requires a uh, custom CS, sorry, not custom CSS Elementor Pro. So let's remove it to like this. And now you can see this is uh, doing nothing. And what we have done is we are using one container and two container so that each of them are targeted individually rather than it being like one uh, whole section. Okay. So again, we are going to add overflow hidden, but for time being, let's just make it default so that you can see what's happening. So let me just show you what we are doing. So in this one, if we go into our motion effects, in our scrolling effects, in our vertical scroll, let me make it full. So this is how you would see at the first. So this is how it looks when you're starting out. Maybe I'll just remove this for now. So this is how it looks when you will add the animation. And what you need to do is, let me explain to you how this works. So from the bottom, it starts at 0% and from the top which is at the 100% so as soon as if I just keep it let's say at 27% the animation or this section would always be at 27% then it will start moving up so bottom 27% it will not move up at all but as soon as this goes at 27% from the bottom it will start to go till top like this but we don't want it to go there we want it to actually stay at our location so all I'll do is I'll just make this go 50 and that way it will stop around our container location and it also means that it will only work till like our 50th percent from the top. So it will not go till our container until we are at the middle of the screen like this. So you can see in this one until I'm at the middle of the screen it's not going up and once I'm at the middle of the screen it is completely showing okay so the thing is in this one you actually need to play around with values and this is how i do it i first make sure this container is at the bottom of my screen like this okay i make the bottom to be let me try which one i did here because i tried multiple values so yep i keep it at zero like this it basically means that the animation should start as soon as we are at the bottom and then in this one I'll go in motion effects here and then make sure my speed is lower until I see the contents so you can see I can see the contents and then now it doesn't matter because I can just if you want to do it even below you could do that and then the animation will start so I have kept it to 1 at for the speed in this one. So I'll keep it 1. Make it hidden. And now the animation looks like this. So if I just hide it, you can see the animation looking same as this one. So you can see. Until it's at the middle of the screen, it will not look full. And all you need to do is duplicate this. like this and it will always obviously be at not the same speed you can see this one is a bit lower so if you wish to change it to match it just play around with values so like maybe increase the speed or decrease the speed like this and it will work like approximately similar like this and then just add any text that you want for your success like this and then you got this animation looks cool right and that's the only one that i know but there's another one okay i, I totally forgot this one now one thing that you can see a uh, issue with this one is that this animation which is at the bottom of the screen will not run until or it will run even though you are 
uh, what you call not in the screen and if you are using this animation it will on it will obviously run as soon as the page loads but it will it will not load or it will load even though you are not at that part so you can see if i scroll down the animation is already done so if i scroll down again let me refresh and show you if i scroll down the animation is already completed but if i refresh it around here you can see the animation is actually happening but we don't want it to happen until we are at the v port and for that it is required javascript that i'm not familiar with but there's an another tutorial by wp easy which is elementor how to trigger css animation in v port you could use that so that it will only run that animation that you have added until you are in the v port so like this one but if you are using the motion effect which is this one you don't need to do that because it automatically uses that method that it will only run when you are in this wave port but if you are using any css animation with like custom css then you will need to add like a wave port javascript that i'm not i'm javascript is not familiar with me and all the codes and description are in sorry all the codes and uh, links for elementor pro or anything that i like and even my templates are in description and you can obviously click on recommended around here and then it will give you recommended stuff what of what i like like i also write monthly hosting reviews and stuff so if you want anything just use the links in description to support me